Yo, what's up guys? It's Pyros here, the Crypto Pi, and today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin because Bitcoin will indicate what the market is doing. But not only that, we're also going to talk about a website called Coin Farm on online or something like that, right? I'll I'll show you guys and I'll also put the link in the description below. And uh, let's just get started, right? So, guys, what I do when I start, right? The day at the moment because it's so volatile. Um, I mean, it's not really volatile, but like when it does drop or does pump, you want to know, right? You want to know straight away. So what I do is I go to the five minute, guys, and then I put two alert, two alerts here, right? One here at the top of this RSI, one here at the bottom of the RSI. So when it does pop, I know because a five minute pop can go further into, you know, a 15 minute in a one hour, etc. So um, you just want to know, right? That is how, how, well, it tells you at first on the five minute, right? It tells you right here already that you're going down here, and then you get the the last one where you could actually buy at six four fifties and then you know sell here again. So um, yeah, this is definitely very interesting, guys. RSI alerts, right? Um, so let's go over the analysis I did yesterday. Um, so I told you guys. I want to see a 786. This is what happened, right? Um, because of if you take the Fibonacci over here, like I did yesterday, right? Boom. You know, wait, there's your 786 as well, right there. So, was it weird for me to assume that I want to see 786 again? And here was also 786. So, um, you know, it's just something that I wanted to see. And we, we bounced here for now, not very strong. But we did bounce. We're still in this uh, ascending channel, right? So as long as we stay in this channel, it's good. I still have a red box here because this is the 618 back up. If you take your uh, fib from this swing high to this swing low. And then we also have a red box here because if you take it from this swing high to this swing low, this is your fib 618, right? To 65. So we have two boxes here drawn that you know we absolutely need to watch, and of course you need to watch all the the, the tops as well, right? Um, if we do go back up, if we go down, however, of course I have my green box down here at six two fifties, um, and um, I should also have one down here, right, uh, at six one, and you know, and uh, obviously we cannot break, you know this line around 59 5800 that'd be bad we don't want to break that so yeah that is uh, where we're at guys on Bitcoin right now right um, let's see on the hourly you could see this as a one two three one two three four five maybe it's done right what what you want to see then is obviously a very small retrace right you want to see 0.5618 so maybe we'll go once more to this channel because uh, that's the 618 for that and then uh, go go further up but we'll have to see right so just put your alerts and just be ready for both scenarios both going up or going down so guys I think that is all I can really talk about on Bitcoin for now because that's really all we have right uh, for our so what what I suggest you guys do is go on the five minute, put these alerts on your R size, um, and also um, on the four hour, take your FIP swing low from here to the high there because it reacts to the levels very well. Right? That is what you want. It want you want it to react. So if we do fall through here, well, guess what? Where the next reaction will be around the 886, which also this bottom here, and then of course we have the the simple one. If we do go lower, well, you need to take your swing high from here. I mean, swing low from here to your swing high here, and then take a look right um, where 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 some fibs are and see, and also always look on the chart itself. Well, obviously you will have some support down here again. Right, so yeah, that is uh, what what you need to look at, guys. So let's go over Coin Farm here, right? It's Coin Farm dot online. That that is it. Coin Farm dot online. So what I like to do here is go to the leaderboard, right? Because the leaderboard, and let me refresh and show you, the leaderboard re updates every 
uh, day just once a day at 12.30 UTC, it updates, right? And you can see what the big boys of BitMEX are doing. Are they long? Or are they short? They don't have a position at all, right? For example, uh, Heavy Autumn Wolf is long, right? With his 5,819 Bitcoin still. Um, in profit, guys, this is the profit he made on Bit BitMEX. So he's obviously a good trader. Right now he's negative 11 because, you know, we're down a little bit, but guys it's definitely important to do look at that right uh, what what are these traders doing because they can move markets with these amount of Bitcoin you can move markets so it is an uh, you know it's just a nice tool um, what you also have here is you have some margin analysis uh, right you can see the shorts and the, the longs on the, on bitmax see so more shorts currently than longs and you just see it in real time, right? You, you just see it uh, go in. So, um, yeah, this is nice to see as well. Then you have your positions, leaderboard funding fees, a, a lot of things, right? But the leaderboard is definitely the most important, I think, right? So, um, yeah, go, go check that out, guys. The link will be in the description below, like I said. Also, guys, I do have a Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash pygos. And there's all kinds of tiers there. Just check out. Um, which tier fits you, right? Which tier you want to be with. Um, that is if you want to become a patron. If not, you know, oh well. Um, it's all entirely up to you. Also, guys, join up with the CryptoPies blog where you can ask me any questions, you can ask other people questions. And it's just a great chat box to be in, right? Let's see what's going on here. Um, we have some charts here, Terry, with a chart on Bitcoin. So, yeah, it could definitely be an ascending triangle, Terry. Uh, that'd be very nice, right? Um, you know, we'll go down here, which is what we did. We'll go up again, go down once more, and then go up. Um, definitely nice chart. I do like it. Um, we have another one here. The one-week chart from Terry as well. Definitely. Um, you know, that's uh, another thing, guys. All right. So the daily Ichimoku cloud is getting very thin, so we could get through there. But I, I, I'll talk about it when we get closer to it, right? We're not that close to it yet. Um, let's see, anything else? Not really. Uh, but great charts, guys. So I uh, love that. Also, join up with the CryptoPies feed where I post all my videos, post for upcoming ICOs. When I find an ICO, I'll tell you guys to whitelist for it so you are ready for the sale. What I do look for in the ICO is a strong team, low uh, token metrics, uh, so it's a low market cap, so it's easy to flip to make, for us to make some money. And of course, I look for infrastructure projects such as blockchains and protocols. Um, because that's simply the best, right? Um, you know, if, if we look at the history. But at the moment, guys, don't expect any ICOs from me because both Ethereum and NEO are kind of low priced, which means it's very hard for your ICO to do well, right? Um, also, guys, follow me on Twitter, which is twitter.com slash pygos, and follow me on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash pygos. Both telegrams will be in the description below, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that post notification button, and if you've got any questions at all, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.